Hello everyone, it is me, Pui, and I am back with more Edison content. A surprise for you, perhaps? A surprise for me, for sure. I couldn't help myself but play some more Edison today because I have a very special guest, or should I say I am the very special guest. I am currently uh, staying in Florida with the one and only Snack Mwai. Say hello. Hi. Uh, hello. <laughs> Snack is a lovely person, a lovely Edison duelist, a powerful Edison duelist, master of quick draws, cats, and everything in between. And today we are going to be playing a quick draw deck I've brewed up that is half quick draw dandy and half Amaryllis burn, uh, the car path deck. Uh, he is another member of the Crow's Nest, along with Snack and Frog Slicer from last week's video. If you aren't familiar with that deck, it's kind of taking advantage of the fact that Phoenixian Cluster Amaryllis is stupid good. Um, it is a fire, it is a plant, uh, and it has graveyard recursion. Um, it works regardless of whether or not it's able to attack. Uh, it happens over and over again, deals burn damage, and also is a good body if it actually gets in. And on top of all that, it happens to be level 8, along with Titanial Princess of Camellas, which means that we can play three trade-in with both of those cards, uh, both of which are perfectly fine in the graveyard because we are playing three Hidden Armory for DDR and uh, Mark of the Rose, both of which want plants in the graveyard, and Amaryllis also wants itself in the graveyard along with other plants. Older versions of the deck also played counter, so this deck is just furiously dumping stuff into the graveyard, starting to recur ammo realist, getting some really powerful plant plays with Titanul and Lone Fire and Dandelion. And I got my hands on this deck after the top car path originally got, and we decided to throw in Quick Draw. So, Quick Draw, I mean, this is one of the things that Edison Format is known for. Uh, we have Quick Draw with Dandelion. You make two tokens. You can use it and the token to go into Drill Warrior, and from there you can continue to recur, and also Drill Warrior can attack directly each turn, so you can make tokens with Dandy over and over again. You can get anything else you need over and over again. Um, Drill protects itself. It attacks directly, which in this deck is huge because we've got a bunch of bonus burn damage with the Amaryllis, um, and potentially you could also do burn damage with the counter if you want. Uh, although we've opted not to do counter, we realize that this card is uh, very easy for better players to trigger early uh, and deal themselves not a lot of damage, or perhaps no damage at all. So we decided to go instead for playing more Raikou, and Raikou is just a very solid card. It also mills cards into our graveyard. Uh, it's a normal summon in the deck that was kind of lacking some, and also along the quick draw route we are playing one Debris Dragon, uh, debris being really good along with all these level 3s we have. Unlike Plague, which was kind of awkward, uh, Debris and a bunch of level 3s can make Black Rose and Ancient Fairy, and then Plague uh, with a bunch of level 3s just basically makes Cataster. Doesn't even make a Shilnodon, does it? No, it doesn't. Yeah, so absolute <laughs> trash. We got rid of the Plague. It was really awkward. We also got rid of Counters. Uh, for the reason I said before, uh, I got rid of the Necro Gardena. A lot of players have been getting rid of Necro Gardena in their graveyard decks, so clearly it's probably not as good as people think. Uh, we changed the side quite a bit as well, so we are playing two Caius now because we are playing a couple more normal summons. It's a lot easier to support. You contribute Amaryllis off it as well. Um, we're also playing Battle Fader and Cyber Dragon, so against a lot of beatdown decks and such, we can get a little more defensive. What? It does make <laughs> You can make a shield in the dawn. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's just nobody would ever want to do that. But that's funny. Because you could go one turn or one level. I was like, wait, maybe it does make a shield in the dawn. Smash like for Ocean Dragon Lord Gashil in the dawn. You just can't make it with, um, what's it called? With Fishborg Blaster and two level twos. Very important to know. Very important. <laughs> For no for particular reason, you have to know that you cannot make Gashil Nadan with Fishborg Blaster and two level twos. Uh, smash dislike for Gashil Nadan. <laughs> Please don't smash dislike. I'm desperate. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Uh, we got Cyber Dragon because Cyber Dragon fucks over machines, uh, fucks over aggro decks. I added in a giant Trunade uh, because a lot of back row decks give this deck a bit of trouble. We can make a decent board. We can ship away, but... Uh, you know, we have Heavy Storm, but Starlight Road really hurts, and we want to be able to get rid of that stuff. Uh, Trinity just helps us push through a lot of extra damage. This deck can make a, a very big board presence very quickly sometimes between the B DDR, the Mark of the Bros, the Quick Draw Dandy, and the Amaryllis and such. So sometimes we just want to clear their back row and make a big beat. 
We've got uh, Lightning Vortex, helps against Dragon Turbo, helps against any deck making a big board. It's just a very clean way to clean things up. Um, we have My Body to block things that destroy a bunch. Certainly any deck playing Mirror Torrential, this may be worth bringing in. Uh, we have Bottomless Trap Hole for those aggressive decks. We have Dust Tornado against any deck against Floodgates. And we are playing three Comedian over Car Paths too. This is a card I'm yet to actually have a chance to use just because I haven't played the decks that would use it. Um, but any other graveyard-based deck... Uh, this deck either allows us to block the graveyard and banish it all at once, so it's like a Super Crow, maybe a Super Soul release even, or it lets us just completely outspeed their graveyard by that grassing them. And last time I checked, that grass is a good card. So we're going to try three Fiend Comedian. Maybe we'll run into something where it's relevant, or maybe it'll just keep sitting here being a mystery. Uh, our side is, you know, decent enough. We got the Chimera attacks. We've got things you can make off Quick Draw. We got things you can make off of your Debris Dragon, and then we have one Bryonic and one Ally of Justice Cataster because uh, we have Mark of the Rose, so we can steal stuff. Um, no Gashil Nadan ever. We never play Gashil Nadan on Police Card Academy, and that's a promise. <laughs> I'm going to regret saying that someday, but right now, no Gashil Nadan ever. Uh, deck's pretty straightforward if you're familiar with the Amaryllis Burn deck. Uh, you'll see a lot of the stuff that happens going through. We'll be sure to explain it plenty. Um, but I think the deck's pretty sweet. I've been having a lot of fun playing it, and I got some pretty fun wins. Let's see if we can get some more. All right, let's do it. All right, we are having a scrap versus my goat disciple, Birdman. If you don't know Birdman, shout out to Birdman. I don't know what that die was. We're picking rock. <laughs> All right. Every day we're picking rock. Fair warning, I don't have much experience with Amaryllis, so I may have to think. <laughs> Neither do I. We're going to talk it through. I don't really know Edison format so well. Look at this. Look at this rock. Okay, this has gone horribly. I think it's he, the scissors it, meta. It might have something to do with the fact that he knows me well enough to know that I'll keep picking rock. But anyway, here we go. Good luck, my guy. Okay, this hand is... Gores is level 7. Correct. This hand sucks balls. We have ch we have charge. I'm I'm glad we added the third Ryko because I was originally playing and we um. <clears throat> Yikes! Okay, there are traps. There are traps. Here comes a dust shoot. <laughs> this isn't goat format. Maybe there isn't a dust shoot. We may right, be safe. very lucky. All right. I think it's just charge and set Ryko, or it could be charge set dandy. Mm, okay, let's think about this for a second. There's also the charge do nothing hand with gores but that's a pretty obvious gores uh there's no way to really get dandy out of our hand into the grave oh we do have the wing blast we have torrential so we can do normal seven torrential oh i like that on the yeah, yeah okay yeah, yeah let's go charge set dandy set torrential i like that a lot i believe this is cost okay it it's is. giving us the thumbs up so we are milling ouch those are bad mills we I think do, we, we do did. have a plant and grave for Amaryllis if that ever comes around. That is not nothing for sure. I will say we um, mm -hmm. we didn't make this deck worse in the ex in just to the extent of making the amount of good mills less, but we also just added more good cards. In any case, this should be a pretty tricky and, start. Oh, you I'd might want to set MST in case of future fusion. Um, we can just destroy it later, unless destroying it is it, it an it, MST negate moment? Yes. Oh, we love MST negate. Hmm. I know that I played Birdman on Dragons the other day. That's why I say that. <laughs> Understandable. I mean, Fufu is Fufu. We don't like we don't like playing against. Even, Fufu. Yeah, even if it's like Diva Hero, it's good. Uh, special uh, Summon Treeborn Frog. <laughs> that that's and that's gonna be a miss for sure. I also probably wouldn't Torrential a Treeborn. No, I wouldn't. Um, I'm thinking I, the reason I wanted Torrential is for Kaius. If our Dandy gets Kaius, or if they summon like Didi Warrior Lady or something. We really don't want that. So. I would like to point out two things very interesting about that Treeborn. Uh, first of all, this might not be dragons. Second of all, true. he has two traps okay. and is playing, and he has three traps and is playing yeah, Treeborn. Yeah, Treeborn. This is very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. So okay. I think we could just go flip Summon Torin, get two monsters. We could set Raiko after that. And just try to inch things. We could also do one that and have probably, armory. One of those is probably Treeborn. Of course, he's not going to be able to get it back with all those traps. We so. could just wait, too. Um, I'm thinking. 
It's not like we can take advantage of an empty field right now. Yeah, I think I would wait. We can armory at the very least. I think I would because... probably wait. Just because if we armory for, like, Mark of the Rose, we want there to be, like, a little surprise factor. And we still have that the... That is true. But we may want to summon on the turn we have Mark. But maybe the surprise factor is important. Okay, I'm just going to pass. Nothing to be done. There's Sark. Sark. Sark is approved. For future <laughs> There it is. Well. All right. We have our number on that. I don't know why. I find a lot of things hard to remember in Yu-Gi-Oh. Sark is not one of them. I, even when you put it in Graveyard. I never need to do this. It's just not a problem for me. Okay. I wouldn't set that just because no, we no, have No way. Yeah. No need. Um, I honestly... I think we do nothing again. I think we do nothing again as well. Incredible. This is some riveting gameplay here at Police Card Academy. This is what you all come here for, I'm sure. Is for Ocean Dragon Lord Gishol and uh, uh, riveting pass-pass gameplay. He almost didn't remove the counter off the Gold Sark. This is true. Okay. Some people just forget. Okay. What? The, why are you playing tree board? <laughs> Good question. Okay. Okay, he, that's a card. We can trade that in. We're gonna trade that in. It's time to tip our hand. So discard that. Yep, that's good. Okay. This back row is getting a little bit scary. Uh, is it? Is that? Yeah, it's the second card. Is it though? Uh, I'm thinking there's. We, so the thing is that Amarillo. I think is there's recursive. a starlight down there. There could be, but we're not. That's why. So the torrential is, is scary now. So I would say I'm like solemn. I would think about solemn. It makes gores worse. Um, we also have two armory. So at this point, I'm starting to feel like we have no reason not to play one, since we can literally use the other on the other thing. Yeah, yeah. Since uh, since we're not going to normal, I, th I think that's fine. Okay, that's fine. And let's get Mark of the Rose, I guess, since that one's live and DDR is not. Um, DDR will be live in a moment. We're about to activate Amaryllis. True. Uh, but we're only banishing, I wanna, we're banishing Lone Fire. That could get us into Titanial. Yeah. I kind of um, want to do Mark first because then Hidden Armory will be the surprise since it's the one that's more likely to come out first. What you're talking about before seems like it makes sense. But DDR is about to be live. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. That's... Uh, Mm, uh, I think we could do, we can do, if we do DDR, we can go Lone Fire, tribute our own dandy, make, like, uh, Lone Fire, Lone Fire type. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of that. Okay. I want to know in the that comments what you would do there. <laughs> that might have been really quiet of me, but yeah. yeah. Do you want to set the solemn in case of Starlight Road? Yes. In case we're forced to torrential here? I'm planning to, yes. This is a once per turn card? No, it isn't. That's worth knowing yeah so you can double it up that card's very good this card is better than i realized that every time i use it, it it gets more and more good okay here comes future fusion do you think he's going to counter it doesn't even matter if he does, like, it's we literally fine. have two more turns we still with, have torrential if if he counters it with like dark bribe i'm fine with that oh, that's a free draw yeah and we have three so more time like... it kind of just boosts it. okay so that that's good that thing he was setting up, he's not setting up anymore. One, two, three, four. So now that Gold Sark was just doing nothing for several turns and he didn't get any value out of it. Yep. Well, he traded MST for a Gold Sark. That just seems like a very bad trade. Um, he, we are milling ourselves. We can't afford to not do anything. I did just notice that. Yeah. Um. We could go for the torrent play now. Uh, we Might could. Be bad. Uh, if he has a solemn also, that's a lot of back row. It is a lot of back row. I'm kind of inclined to set Raiko and go for a back row. We also I, forgot to I, summon Amaryllis before, but we'll do it we now. We did. Uh, I think the Raiko is a good play. Are we going to go for Amaryllis? Mm, in the end phase? I'm thinking it just to start sure, burning. Sure, yeah, yeah. I like it. And then we can... It, it'll get... Yeah, yeah. It makes our DDR lie. Oh. Oh, wait, wrong way. Yeah. Oopsie. And we can attack and do 800. Why not? Why not? Okay, that seems to be good. 
we're moving on. When, when I said a trap deck, this is not what I was expecting. Yeah. Um, for, 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 for the record, we saw him playing Dragon Turbo, and we asked him to do not that. Because, uh, well, you know, it's Dragon Turbo. Deck's pretty sweet. This is certainly a deck with it. some traps. This is certainly a deck with some traps. Interesting stuff. Riveting. Oh okay. my god. Um, so, do we Redco pop something and then go for... Inf- I just want to like start hitting on the back row. Yeah. Um, we could even go Redco pop and then we can go Torin. Possibly. Or maybe we want to hold off on that. I am worried at Star- about Starlight Road at that point. If we go, we can go Ryko Pop and then flip Dandy uh, and just like hit over. I, I think the second set is a Treeborn. He was going to. Oh, I was going to start destroying back row. Yeah, but do we need to worry about that? I'm not sure if we do, honestly. Even if it's five? Um, Like, what are we worried about? Torrential of his own? That's fine with us. Um, Mirror Force? Like, that's also. Mirror Force fun. is fine. Yeah, like, I, I, Wing Blast is still pretty much fine. Yeah, I guess we're not asking much of him right now. Okay, that's fine. Maybe we'll destroy I mean, the first the set then. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll target the first set with this one. Well, you, I would actually ask if the summon resolves before targeting. That's targeting, true. but you're good. Important learning opportunity. So that was a good okay. one to hit. Oh, Titanial also pretty good to mill. Okay, and then like it. I would probably flip summon this and then try and attack with all three. The Emeralds will do 3,000 if it connects. Oh, because we we're sure the set's treeborn. I'm. I think it is. If it's All not, right. we can just hit over with Emeralds. And That's true. Not a huge. Which deal. is what we would have done anyway. Here we go. If he does use a mirror here, it's a pretty garbage. Mirror. Yeah, it's like we get two tokens and you do eight hundred to yourself, and Emeralds just comes back. Um. I am worried about D prison still. I think that's actually the D prison's a good okay. okay. So there's treeborn gone. Uh, we can solemn it if we really need to. I'm going to attack with Amaryllis first, mm-hmm. because if he gores this, we just don't get Amaryllis. He can't full. gores it because of the back row. You're absolutely right. He can trag. Yeah. And we can hit over trag, but I'd like to hit the... So there's D prison. There's D prison. Uh, I... No, this is a tricky one. I'm inclined, I'm inclined to let it happen. I think so. We have DDR. Well, no, you can't summon we it. Can't, you can't summon yeah. Amaryllis off DDR, can't. but we can... Uh, we did just need a deep prison. We can normal summon. Uh, oh, another one. That that feels less good. I think we have to let that resolve too. What what do we have in grave? Uh, Titanial. Okay. I think we're. Should actually, we could summon Dandelion and then. I still think we're we in actually a decent spot. Yeah, it's just annoying. Mm-hmm. But yeah. we do also have hidden armory to reuse DDR, mm-hmm. and we have something to discard for DDR. Mm-hmm. So everything's fine here for the Treeborn most part. is still getting nothing for him. We were able to pop the Masked Dragon with Raikou. We still have Torrential. Fufu's gone. So I'm still thinking there's a good chance of Starlight or Solemn in the back row and maybe a Wing Blast, but... We do need to make some big moves eventually, but that's mm-hmm. probably what Solemn's for. Okay. You. This is fine. You just let it go. Yeah. Trooper? Next turn, we can, yeah, we can just troop over that if we really want. It's kind of awkward that we've lost all three of our trade-ins before finding a second Amaryllis. It is. I would love to have multiple Amaryllis going, actually, right now. And we're not going to be able to get this Titanium out of our hand except with, like, a Wing Blast or something. Oh, we're going to use it with DDR. True, true. I forget that one has a discard cost, so... Yes, it does. Otherwise, it might be b- 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 broken. Although, then again, life point cost is actually not nearly as bad in most situations. Shout out to Premature Burial. Good card. Yo! Okay, so... What are That's we... really good. So are we thinking... Do we have Lone Fire Banished? We do. We have Lone Fire Banished. We also have Dandy Banished. So we could go uh, DDR, discard Dandy, add Lone Fire, get it going to, like, Lone Fire type. We can do the Lone Fire type play. We only have one tight left, but we'll still have the tokens. We still I... have the Lone Fire in deck, correct? Yes. I am inclined to just do Trooper first, maybe. And try to save that for that when there seems... are less traps. But maybe I'm trying to do a big push well, and then do trooper. If we mill titanial or lone fire, then or uh, amaryllis, we put on better pressure while still having the same play. Well, if we mill the lone fire, then we can't go lone fire, lone fire tight. We can only go lone fire into tight. You're right. Okay, so we'll do this first. Uh, there could be depression actually, but we have solemn for that. But that's not great. I don't know. 
Um. Yeah. Well, he didn't oppression Amaryllis, but maybe that's just because it's kind of a useless endeavor. Yeah. It's the same. I mean, I, I think we should just go for it. Honestly, I, okay. I, I think I'll do the DDR discard dandy. Target lone fire. Lomph. There, there is an is. oppression. Do we solve that? I'm inclined to. Um. We can also just. Uh, he does also have to pay for Dandy. We right can still after. just go trooper right now. Yeah, we can we, go we trooper. We just let it go and go trooper attack over. Is that good? Yeah, um, but we're never going to be able to have another chance to remove it in the main board. Yeah. And there are other, other okay. special summons. Yeah, for out of, well, yeah, okay, let's try it. Let's go for it. Because we're going to have to get rid of that. Yeah. And we have a lot of good defense, uh, provided we can keep using an Emerilis if we do it off, get it off trooper. Okay. So it's gone through. Here's. And we get two tokens. It has to be an attack position, right? Yes. I forgot to change what kind of token is the default here. Worthwhile endeavor. Then Lunfire effect. Is this good? Yep. Does it care about position? I would go defense. No, I was, well, I guess it doesn't. I'm no, asking if it does. And then that one, you can declare that one and get rid of the other token. Make titanium. Okay. Part of me wanted to get rid of the first Lone Fire, actually, because it lets us start, recur DDR and also True. keeps the attack position monster off when our life is low, but it's too late now. And if uh, something gets targeted, we'll send this one for sure. And we have an attacker. Are we also using Trooper? I feel like no. Mirror Force is... I, I, I don't like it. Yeah, okay. Into Mirror Force still. He can summon... No, he can't. So that does 1,000. We can hit for 500, too. Why not? Uh, we still have Torin. Oh, we kind of wasted the opportunity to use it, to be fair. We but. did. Um, I don't think we... Do you think we need to set the Mirror Force? Not yet. I think I would do it with Card Trooper later. Um, I'm just thinking there could be a Redman play happening. If there's a Redman play, we could use Torin. Ah, we'll use Force now. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I'm thinking. Um... Mm, yeah, we can... No, no, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it's, like, basic not to set those both at once when we still haven't seen Heavy. Yeah. Not to mention Heavy also removes one of our monsters. Like, Heavy's just gonna hurt really, really right. bad. I mean, he's playing at Trap Heavy deck, so there might not be a Heavy, but I think you still play it. There it is. Told you. I'd say course, but we came prepared. Oh, oh my road. god. Um, okay, never mind. Course. Because now he response. saw the... He sees the Torin. Call me crazy, uh, I think we flip Torin on this. Because we can, right? Just yeah. to remove it. To remove the Stardust for a turn. Uh, doesn't it miss timing? I think it misses timing. We can't do that, right? No, it's a Thost effect on the card. Oh. But oh, then the Heavy. Oh, 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 oh. The Heavy would resolve, and we don't... No, the Heavy's negated. I don't know if that it's, means it's, it's still, off the chain. It's still, a, it's still a chain link, I think. I suppose so. It's like a... Well, no, because the card so, gets right? destroyed. Hmm. I think it's still a chain link, and we don't get to torrential there. We will find out the answer to that one in post. We will find that out. So I think this is all good. I don't think we are allowed to torrential here, unfortunately. We do just have multiple cards that can beat over Stardust, but we also did leave the Lone Fire in attack, so let's see if that bites us in the ass. I'd rather So I was right about the Starlight Road. Yeah. He chose to trigger it himself. I'm thinking he might not have many monsters, actually. Probably. He probably just has a Treeborn that's locked under his own back row. You could banish this Stardust for Red Med. Um, that wouldn't even be that bad for us, though. No. Brain oh, we well, can negate this, but wait, wait, start, starters can negate our negation. Do I but, care? Do uh, I care? Well, it'll destroy our titanium. So we'll just sack off the. I think we have to anyway. Otherwise, we're gonna. If he, it, if he it, chooses it, to negate it, he loses his stardust forever. Hmm? So, so, like, if if uh, if we negate this, yeah, and then he tries to negate our negation, mm -hmm. he loses his stardust forever, and we lose whatever we lose titanium forever. Because Stardust can't come back with Starlight Road. It wasn't summoned properly. Oh, I did not know that. Good to know. I'm 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 gonna use it, certainly. Okay. I'm gonna use it 
on Lone Fire because I don't want a vulnerable uh, Lone Fire on the field. Well, if you use it on Titanial, we get to keep both monsters on field. But do we want that if he can attack us? Well, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, yeah get rid of the Lone Fire, get rid of the Lone Fire. You're right. <laughs> I'm just thinking through everything. Yeah. Again, it also gives us back our DDR off the hidden armory, which means that we could potentially uh, summon another big body. Okay, so he's just or he's go just through, gonna let it go through, which is fine with me. We traded Braincon for a attack position lone fire, and I learned something in the process. Multiple somethings actually. Starlight Road not as good as I thought. Still super cool though. Yeah, it would be broken if if the Stardust actually stayed around. You only get one negation out of it, which is nice. Yeah, that card. And I wonder if he even considered that he could have negated and destroyed Titanial. That's something that often, if you have Titanial, you'll just, like, gun it when you see a targeted card. And you forget that they can destroy it with, like, their own Stardust or, or something. I actually usually forget that Titanial does that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just she, remember that she's a beater. She's a house. She's really, really good. She, what's crazy is her stat lining matches up perfectly with Dark Arm Dragon, and oh. she stops Dark Arm Dragon's effect. Yeah, so, that's pretty, oh, oh, there we go. On, we figured it out. On the, on the Titanial. Yep. Okay. okay. That's fine. That's fine with me. We... Yeah. We're way up on cards right now. Oh. Sorry, my family is. <sighs> His family is talking to him at the perfect time. Mm -hmm. We're in a very good spot. Torrential's back on completely. We can still get a DDR, we can but DD we can I only get it. Dandy. Yeah. Nope. Wait, what? You don't get it. <laughs> Stardust wasn't properly summoned. We summoned... Same as... Yeah. No. Oh, don't gotta use that. Okay. Do that's have a, that's a card... Do we have a do we, have we don't a need a dandy, we what have lone fire. Know, we, we also do have a dandy, so. Okay, so we can make We can make ancient fairy. What we can do is do we have any other plants left in our deck? Um we have No, just Amaryllis. Okay. I uh because if we did we could bring back dandy, make something, and then use the tokens with lone fire, which would be funny. We can use the tokens with Yeah to summon Titanic um, at the very least. So we can do I like debris into I kind of want to make Black Rose and not use the effect and then if he sets anything we can attack for 24 using the uh, the Black Rose effect. To Seems decent, yeah. Black Rose is actually playable in this uh, deck because we have plants. Yeah, we have tons of plants to and we can even banish Titanial for the Black Rose effect and bring it back with DDR. Oh yeah, this is properly summoned too. This is beautiful. It has to be an attack when you summon with debris, but Thank you. No worries. And then these two into Black Rose. He has Torrential still <coughs> in deck, correct? We haven't seen Torrential. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. Um, no, I do not believe. We get two tokens. We could still have Torrential. Yes, we get the tokens. And I think we can just hit here for 24. Bonk. I mean, we are telling him, I guess, well, no, because we already have seen two Titanials, okay. so you might be just assuming that we don't have a third. All right, we're in very... Oh, do you want to set Mirror Force? Uh, no, we still have Torrential. And we still have three monsters worth of defense. So if there's any monster that could get rid of all the monsters, we'll use Torrential on that. Like, if he uses Dark Arm somehow, but how many Darks does he have? Um, none. None. None at all. So we're not even worried about Dark Arm. I don't know what he could do here that okay. we would need anything besides there's a back Torrential. Row. Uh, we could maybe just switch both to attack and make him have it and then if he doesn't have anything we can like set Sangin or something. I think that's or the plan. something like that. Something to that effect. Meow. Okay. And... That's gotta be game. Yeah, bing okay. bong. Okay, I forgot my attack sequencing. Because we could have killed Trag there with... We could have killed Trag there with uh, the dragon, but not with Lone you Fire. You can't use it in Battle end. Phase. It's a once per turn, like, uh, spell speed one effect on Black Rose, right? So. Trag? No, no, I'm saying we couldn't have. No, I'm saying we could still hit over a Trag. Oh, I see what you're saying. With a, yeah. We can't hit over a Trag with Lone Fire if he has a card in hand. 
So against dragons with a lots of... I don't know. I, I definitely want Trunade here. Yeah, Trunade seems good. Maybe I might want Dust so we have more ass to oppression in the main deck. We don't have to solemn it like we did last time. I agree. We could also do Kaius if he's going to go on the slower side. And it also removes bigger dragons if need be. Um, uh, Let's see. Seems decent. But I, I'm now I have to think about what we're ticking out. Uh Poib seems eh. We're on the draw, so Dust Shoot seems eh. I think Dust Shoot we can take out. He, he said, said he a said bunch. It, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we can take out that. I think I can comfortably grab... Quick Draw seems like we're asking for trouble here. Yeah, honestly, as much as I like the Quick Draw engine, I don't think... I'm going to just play the one. I don't want to have two of this. Yeah. Um... We can also cut the other one, but I don't want to cut a bunch of monsters for a bunch of spells and traps. Right feels bad sometimes um we do have let's see we have mst we're bringing a lot of back row hate honestly i don't think we need all of it maybe just one dust all right i mean i'm not sure how much we need to side it seems good enough let me check this message real quick we'll cut it out (laughs) Question mark. <laughs> Actually, this is going in. You gotta find me a degen plant deck in Edison? Question mark. Oh, why am I snapping now? We haven't started the next game. Alright, so that first game went well. I think we were kind of patient through the back row. Yeah, and this deck definitely has the inevitability, even if we're milling down our deck. We didn't even, like, use Amaryllis more than once in that game, and we didn't even use our big traps. Well, once we saved the MST for Future Fusion, like, that's, like, the big card that was going to cause us trouble. No doubt. That that probably would have been a big push over the end. She basically was playing that like a combo deck. This uh, hand sucks. We see. need a trade-in very badly. Although we can... In the right circumstance, we can uh, normal summon Amaryllis off Dandy, but I really don't want to banish Dandy to Amaryllis if I don't have to. We do have Sangan. I don't know what Sangan's getting, though. Sangan can get Lone We have one Quick Draw. Or Debris. Lone Fire or Debris seem like our best. Or, yeah, Quick Draw could be... Oh, that or might be... that! Uh, yeah, we can even get the equip out of the grave. That seems like the yeah, play. Yeah, we're slamming that. That seems like the play. Find yourself a deck uh, where you can play Cardes. Cardes, good card. Oh, and he was playing knock. That's good to know. Very good. So we might want to be cognizant of what we're setting. For sure. Like Rikos. <laughs> that's a lot of Rikos. I mean, honestly, I think if he uses a knock on a Riko, that's fine. Yeah, at this point we, we also have two drew in the hand. armory. Yeah, at this point we have two in hand, so the knock's only hitting the one or like the one in our deck. This is brutal. And I'm just setting dust. Um Yeah, that's fine, I think. Great. I think we're going to just set the I dust. think we're not using Amaryllis here yet. I would like to wait on it. Until his field's a little more clear, which we're going to do with the Rikos. And maybe the Rikos will also give us a better plan to banish, like a Titanial. We did get rid of Mark of the Rose or DDR? Future Fusion. Uh, Perfect. Kill. Go away. <laughs> this is amazing. We don't want you. No Fufu. <laughs> no auto win card. No. Only us. We Only we get to use the I win card. Correct. Okay, Exploder. Exploder Dragon. This is... Oh. Got it. This is just like bad new Doria. Oh. <laughs> High DDR. I'm assuming we just kill the Exploder since uh, we can kill it in know. battle. I don't know. I don't know. We could also use an Amaryllis to handle it, but I don't know. It seems like it's going to get rid of our tokens, and I kind of want to keep our tokens. Um, I don't know if I want to do this yet, just because... I feel like Raiko is more valuable than that, but if there's a Caius, we have to think about that. Yeah. Also, the the milling keeps us moving, whereas yeah, right now we don't true. have much of a move. That's true. I could see that. I'm going to do it. I assume that summon went through. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, darn. There's a, oh, there's there's a, a third, third Amaryllis. Amaryllis. At this point, we'll just do Amaryllis, Spanish Amaryllis. It's I a agree. huge deal. 
Let's hit for that 200. That's spicy. Send him a message. Do we want to set the other Raiko? I'm down. I just want to, I just want to get in there with sure. the Yeah, and then end phase. Let's bring back the MLS. Torrential feels bad here. Do we set... Or, sorry, end phase, so we can't. But I don't think we need... If he makes Red Dragon Archery, he's just really good. <laughs> That would also involve being able to make Red Dragon Archfiend, which I don't know how yeah, he's doing. Yeah, I'm not sure his deck. In Trap Dragons with five cards, or six cards. That's possible, but... Make Gores and Whitestone somehow. Gores and Whitestone. That would be okay. very impressive. In, I, he's not, there's no way for him to get Gores on the field, but yeah. Okay, okay, that's a good draw. That's a very good draw. Um, I'm inclined to save it. We could also tribute here. some Let's take it. a second. I feel like one of these is... Dimensional prison. Wait, what's his? What's in the grave? I saw one D prison. One D prison gone. He did play multiple on us last game, mm-hmm. and I would not like to lose. So option one is summon Titania with. No, that wouldn't be it. it I don't like be, it into torrential and bottomless. No, me neither. I don't love it. I think it's fine if he wants to do that since we've got some more stuff in the tank, including Ryko for more plants. We can, like, we can do the Phoenixian cluster um, with the dandy, and we also have. The, DDR if we need the dandy but we also got rid of our quick draw which means that dandy is significantly less necessary and it's I might right. I might just switch Raikou to defense and then try and hit with the Emerilis. I think so quite right if this goes through I think it'll say a lot this book wow book. that's weak that's not good okay I think we just pass um I uh... Yeah, I think that's correct. We're in a good position. I this think. is a very good position. <laughs> this deck has a, a lot of options. I feel like we gave it a lot more options than it had before, just at the risk of being able to do more things at the same time. Foolish doesn't really do much here. Foolish, I think we, we just... have a dandy in deck. We have... We have too many zones filled. We have... Yeah, I wonder if there's. Yeah, <laughs> I do wonder if there's a bottomless or a torrential here, and we didn't play into it last turn. And if he books it now, it's live when we flip it back up. That's true. But there's not much we can do about that. There's, I do, am again not the most. Wor- we literally have a way to send a plant to do another. Yeah, Amorellis, I think. I think, so. we're, I think we're good. Just flip summon, ask if that's okay, and try and hit in for three thousand. Essentially, trap hole. Trap hole. That's so bad. Literally, we get the effect still. Yeah, pay, we, we lose 800. Take your damage. Um, armory? Um, or do we want to save? Do you want to well, do multiple DDR? We can go armory for... Armory for um, Mark of the Rose. Since we didn't normal summon this turn, we can just take advantage of that. Fair enough. That uh, one's... I, I think that's... We don't need it yet. Well, now we don't get it, period. Yeah, we don't so get it ever. I, I think hope we, can, we don't need it. Sometimes you gotta trap hold them. I think we can probably close this game out without needing to recur our banished monsters, but we'll see about that. Oh, Mark of the Rose is in the grave. Oh, then let's get it out of there. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. We did card destruction that one away. Yeah. I yeah. wonder if I it, that is a shark where you're like, well, you yeah. search the deck, so you have to find one in deck. But there's no fail to finds in Edison, Correct. so... Correct. Not legal. Um, we can... We know. can do Raikou on one and then I, summon Tai. Uh, just to like, do something. We already just... We just used an armory, so we're done. Oh, that's true. We're done. Um, I Unless you want to do want to Amaryllis. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Amaryllis and Invase. Okay. See, the thing about Amaryllis um, getting Royal it's Oppression is that you're still 800. taking 800. And now our, I, I'm more comfortable about summoning Titanial next turn. We yep. can even Raikou it if we really need to. You oppression. cannot summon. Are we, you're, you're able to Oppression Starlight Road, right? Yes. Cool. Okay, There's he's going to kill a token or Raikou. Nope. I would kill a I would token. have killed the token yeah. there. I agree. Okay. I almost want to go the new that set summon Titanial. Really but I think that's fine. This is the new set? No, 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 the middle one. Alright, we Gucci. 
if we mill a it was an MST, so nobody, that whole time that was not the best thing to hit but if this if we hit a titanium i'll be happy okay that's fine happiness is overrated Do we tribute these i think so okay because we still get to we get to summon you sh uh the cost isn't negated so we get to put this in the grave then he has to pay another 800 it's gonna start to be a problem especially if this attack lands it's he's going to be, to be able to oh there's a mirror force okay rude so he's gonna be able to summon something like white knight dragon or something um let's think here i mean white knight can stop mark can white knight stop mirror force it can it has not. to target right i'm pretty sure that's actually something i'm not 100 percent sure on but i'm pretty sure that white knight does not uh no no, no it doesn't because i bought i can bottomless it so yeah you can mirror force it and you can solemn it i might set solemn here too yeah i'm thinking the same and then do you fool no we don't foolish yet no i think we just yeah and declare it see if he wants to pay eight okay okay i mean at least it gets rid of the defense wall he pays eight we feel great that is a good rhyme well, it's it's from modern <laughs> It's about... Uh, it's about Cliff Fort, right? I think it's about a card called Cursed Eldland, but don't quote oh, me. Oh, <laughs> Cursed Eldland. Yes. I do know that card as well. well this is good. He's we doing get... 400 per turn, and we're doing 800 per turn. We have a limited amount of ammo, this but we can... Um, how are we going to... We can... No, that doesn't work. I have to be honest. Using Mark of the Rose with the... With the armor, it was bad because I want a DDR twice, and we probably can't anymore because we are two armories down. We, we have uh, one plant left at the uh, moment. We but might we want can... to set the swing blast, it, and then when he chains oppression to something like DDR, we can oppression the we can wing blast the oppression. I agree. Um, are we doing Amaryllis on Amaryllis? or do we want to wait until we can actually get the Amaryllis to land? We only have two Amaryllis in grave, correct? Yeah. Um, our only pressure foolish, right now feels like we Dexas. can foolish and then Amaryllis, whatever we foolish. Or I don't want him tracking that good. Or do you want to save the foolish for Phoenix Wing Wing Blast discard? That sounds good. Also, if he ever does tribute summon a dragon, we can let it through and try to mark. Or not. Yeah, unless it's White Knight, but yeah. That's true. If it's White Knight, I'm going to Solemn or Mirror. But if it's anything else. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, this is fine. We still have Trunade in the deck, don't we? Yes. So we're going to go to really down on cards if we use DDR and Wing Blast. Yeah, I am disinclined. Oh, that's not a good one. That's goofy. Well, that's well, our, there's we our Wing Blast one. discard. Yeah, we can pitch one there. I'm inclined to still not do anything. Mm, um, yeah, we're not really being threatened right now. Nope. He is putting no pressure on us, but we can exhaust all our resources and die. This is probably what counter is good for, but also counter wouldn't I mean, be yeah, it, jack you make here. him pay for, lose 400, which isn't that crazy. I realize we can do a burial on Dandy, and if we do that, he has to pay another 800 and we get another plant in the grave, which is actually 1600. Okay, that's, that's a good one. A good one, yeah. We're going to play that one. Hold what, on. How many Rikos? Rico, Rico. See, I'm glad I added a third Rico. I gotta hope we don't mill the third. That would be sad, but it would still be a mill three. True. This is cost. I keep forgetting. Yes. Great. There it is. Of course. <laughs> and there's the third hidden armory and our heavy storm. So that was a terrible mill. Completely phase. awful. That fizzles. That was god awful and probably might make us lose this game. Yeah, it's something. That was the risk with the <laughs> activation there. So goes. To be fair, if the Raikou resolve, then we also go down to nine cards, yeah. or actually eight cards by then. As a result, seven even, because it's another turn to have to set it. But in any case, this it gives very us very funny. little time to kill. This is a very funny game. We just I'm just looking for True Nade. I'm glad we didn't hit True Nade there. There's the dandy. We okay. should use the burial now to increase uh, our chance of getting True Nade and also if we, give us another Amaryllis activation. If we DDR uh, pitch dandy, you'll have to use Oppression twice. That's also true. Unless he's fine with the tokens, which he might be. You know, it's like, who cares? Mm-hmm. Um, I wish we had some way of getting rid of this totem dragon. It's just annoying. It's the only thing he has in the moment. Um, 
He's also nowhere near like being close to dying from our pings. So yeah. we do need to have Yeah, we need to put something on him. I am inclined to wait for True Nade and then do a very explosive turn, but we do need to chip in as well. So I think we have to save DDR. Okay. Unfortunately. But I do want a burial because it will increase our chance of finding True Nade and also give us another Amarilla summon. Okay. <sighs> and maybe there's do we something have a in the deck I'm forgetting. In deck? <laughs> it's the last Titanial. Okay. There's oh, two of there's them. There's two and, Lone, and Lone Fire. I regret this now. Our deck doesn't have. We have many MST things. as well. Do you want to in phase do the Amaryllis? Yes. Okay. I also like that we have Solemn. So if we go Trinade, he chains Solemn. We chain Solemn back. That'll yeah. probably be the life right. points we need. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm about ready to try to use the other one on the first. Yeah. yeah. Not yet, right? Are we... we can do it. Wait. But I figure we can just uh, chip the damage down. Sure. Okay. Great. He's mm -hmm. getting very low. Berman got low, 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 low. So if he pays eight one more time, he's at 3k? 3k is a good number. We could actually true name his own. That's scary. Are we about to die? Am I wing blasting? Am I wing blasting Totem Dragon here? Yes. Actually, yes. And am I playing am I using it with Dandelion? I would, yeah. Um That feels so bad. Because there's gonna be a red med. And then, like, some other big dragon, like a white knight or something, that wouldn't be... There's a solemn. Do we sell them back? Uh, I think we do. <laughs> Terrible. I'm so scared. I mean, he's trunating. I'm laurelly shaking. This is very funny. But also, if we live, we're going to kill him. <laughs> yeah. It's all about totem dragon. It's true. What? He knows, he knows. And all of his cards go to his hand. Yeah. Which kind of means he can still probably defend himself. But we did just put more... Um, we got tokens. This deck's whittling down. So if we go DDR, that's... I would like to do DDR very last after he's at like right. 700 life points. DDR is down to... Check the grave. What traps has he used so far? No torrential. No bottomless. No torrential, no bottomless, and probably another deep prison is left. I would think. There's our torrential. That at least saves us from like a red med play. I am inclined to just do Amaryllis again. Let me see our. Isn't that? Card. Do we have? We have, we have dandy. dandy and just Dandy. Okay. At some point, we'll be able to do Lone Fire. Do I set the Torrential. I would set the Torrential here. Good plan. And, and the Mirror Force. Yeah, I agree. And then, it, yeah. We know he's drawing the... Yeah. Okay, down boom, to bang, 11. Boom. We're very close here. We're reaching the goal. We can go, uh, if we draw debris, we will have to oppression that and then we can DDR. Yeah, Lone or, Fire or Debris will both do the same thing here. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's back. <laughs> yeah. And it Ridiculous. appears there's no red matter outside. What it's, oh, well, we can oppression that if we mm -hmm. can. Yeah, that's why he tried to trade. That's funny. We can actually go DDR and then if it goes oppression, chain MST on oppression. I'm inclined to use it on something else unless you're convinced the other traps are other things. Um, let's see. Because we're not winning this game if the last Amaryllis gets... Uh, right. Our oppression is gone, correct? Our, 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 we don't our, play oppression. I mean, our Amaryllis has no nothing left to banish. We have two more things in deck if we give it enough time. We also have True Nade in deck. Okay. Yeah, let's let's be patient. If he uses Starlight, we can mark the rose, the drill. Well, you can normal summon Red Med here with yeah, the totem. Turn. But we have Mirror. And Torrential. Yes. If, okay, that's fine. 
He hasn't played Torrential or Bottomless or Deep Prism yet. Oh my gosh, we cannot draw a monster. <laughs> no, we cannot. He still has Happy, but Trunade uh, is gone, so this will also keep us from dying. Oh, also, if he tribute summons Red Med, then yeah. Torrential can't get Starlight Road in. What okay. The fuck? So now it's at 1200. Big totem. True. Well, we have Miss. We are getting low, definitely. actually. Uh, yeah, that is true. But we do have MST for this. And. Okay, bing, there's bing, one. There's one. So I think. We actually can do a thing, if you're feeling if you're feeling lucky, we can do a thing of um. Uh, we can MST one set, wing blast another set, and then trunade. But also, Solemn's just gone. So what can bribe or bribe? If he bribes, we're probably gonna die. Win. You think? I think. Uh, if I he mean, bribes, we probably not find do, what we but need. Why, why would we not do the MST wing blast thing? Because we can then use those on other cards later. Solidarity isn't Will relevant. Will he survive? It is. If he won't survive if we go MST, Wing Blast, True Nade, and then DDR for tight. If the last set is bribe, <laughs> if the last set is bribe, then he survives. Um, something very intense now. <laughs> Huge. Then, something very intense now. The we can actually wait, wait, wait. wait. We can we, we can just uh, mark the rose attack for game. No, no, because no, it, it it'll be. It won't get a boost on If we side. do true nade and he responds to it, then we can destroy the other two and steal it. And I think that would be we, hilarious. We, we won't get it. We won't get the boost from Solidarity. Only he I really it. want to kill him with some totem after he said all this. <laughs> it would well, be very funny. All right, here we go. Here we go. So true nade. Yeah. Oh, you know what will happen, though, is it, it'll get small if the true nade resolves. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Ask not for whom the <laughs> oh, totem... Bell tolls. <laughs> I mistyped it, but whatever. This is just game. I mean, Herald of Greenlight. It tolls for me. <laughs> Wait, wrong card. Wrong card. Wait. <laughs> this one. Well, I mean, we did it. It's not lethal with just totem. We need the DDR too. No, no, that's just that's just it's just style points. <laughs> <laughs> it's just to dunk on him. We're definitely we're not even going to attack with the totem because Gorse. True. It's just. It's I mean, he just can't to play, take it. There's no way he plays Gorse with totem, or I would think so. <laughs> GG Birdman. GG man. Thanks for coming on. Shout out to Birdman. Excellent goat format player. Perhaps Edison's skills must be further honed. That was a funny match. We are now battling against the legendary Cameron Saunders, former teammate of Damage Step, current ROD superstar, dueling book head honcho. Two-time RBET top eighter. Oh, uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Both Black Wings and Frog Hero. He is a very powerful duelist. I am shaking in my boots. Are we still we are in picking the rock, rock meta? We, we are, are still in the rock meta. For Cameron in particular, we're going to do the scissor switcher. This is why you choose the rock meta. I was wrong. We're going to go double scissors. Unless you have other thoughts. Oh my god. Let's do another scissors. I think this could fake him out here. All right. Okay. You know, he and I are in sync. No, you. <laughs> You two could summon Stardust Dragon together. Uh, we're gonna go scissors we're like again. A pair of flambells. Fuck. <laughs> Good luck. What do you mean, loser? <laughs> Rude. Oh, oh. Okay, that's a combo. Okay, we're gonna now see the power of the quick draw dandy with the hidden armory. This is gonna get nasty. What? Wait, that's. <laughs> NHT. <laughs> oh, jeez. You know, he did say he would bring the best deck. He, he did. He did say he would bring the best deck he has. This is unlimited, unrated. X Steven. 
Your man right here is showing you this is why we need Edison rated so that people cannot bring branded Despia into the Edison <laughs> battle. I don't even know what these cards do. You know, I don't really. We need to ask. We need to ask EF. I'm going to ask him to translate this into bird up format for me. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, Snack is currently the bird up champion of Bird Up Champion of Format Library. You should join Format Very Library. Very prestigious title. Very prestigious title with an impressive, what, 525 rating? Something like that. It's like 517. The only thing I know is that <clears throat> he does play as a tech card. He plays... <laughs> Flea. <laughs> Yo, he shame scooped. Wow. Okay, there you have it. Quick Draw Amaryllis, better than Branded Despia. This is official. I think this is where we leave the video off. <laughs> All right, everyone. I think the deck's sweet. I want to. I just want to see very quickly what the hand would be. So we would go this, this. We actually get the tokens, and then this is this is nuts, Aruni. We get to make. We get to make the drill, mm -hmm. and then we get to still use Hidden Armory because right. that wasn't a normal summon. Okay. That's pretty sweet. We get to get Sangan back, or uh, whatever you, you call it back. Right. And then the, even, the best part is we have Hidden Armory, so we can actually discard Mark of the Ruse, or whatever, to our guy. So we can do that. Look, look, this would have kicked Despia's behind right here. Look at this. Quick draw Amaryllis, beating the top deck of 2022. Yep, it's official. You heard it here first, folks. It, I've been Pui. This has been Snack. We are here, Edison Duelist, destroying Brandon Despia, mm -hmm. destroying dragons of all kinds in all formats. Uh, and we wish you all a lovely, lovely day. Peace.